Pixlr has a lot of different layers to it. <laughs> that was a pun. And it might not make sense now, but it will after this tutorial. Hey everybody, welcome to our third tutorial on Pixlr. Today we're gonna use the layers tool to make everything black and white except for the pitch down here. This is an image I took at a Portland Timbers game, Rose City Till I Die, and what we wanna do here is make the crowd and all the surroundings black and white, but make the soccer field really come through in that green color. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna start by coming over here to the layers. And what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the layer and I'm gonna click on duplicate layer. So now I've got two layers that are the exact same thing. And what I'm gonna do with this top layer is I'm gonna make it black and white. And the way I do that is I come up to adjustment and desaturate. And what that allows me to do now is I've got two layers. I've got one that's in color right here and then one that's in black and white. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this magic wand tool here and I'm going to select as much of this as possible. So I click here and that got some of the field. So I actually wanna bump the tolerance down a little bit. So it's at 17 right now. Maybe I'm gonna try 11, let's try it again. So I'm gonna click over here and then here and then I actually kinda of wanna zoom in a little bit and I need more of it, there's that. And then if I click over here. So I'm just adding more areas that should, I wanna go through and just add all of the soccer field that I can. Now it selected some of this crowd here. So I wanna make sure that I get rid of that. So I'm going to hit this time control. And as I hit control, you notice there's a minus sign around my selection tool. And that means I'm taking away from the selection. So I've got some more of the crowd here. So I hit control and I circle it and that gets rid of the crowd over there. And if I come around here, Oh, I missed some stuff over here. So I'm gonna hit shift and draw around here to add more of my selection. There we go, now I've got the soccer field selected. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna use the eraser tool and I'm actually gonna make that a little bit of a bigger brush so that we can do that faster. So make the diameter just a little bit bigger. And now you'll notice that as I come through here, it's only gonna erase the selection. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why is that adding, why is erasing then adding the color? Well, the reason for that is that our background layer, I'm gonna get rid of, you're, I'm going to make it so that the background copy is invisible. The background layer still has all of the color. So I'm just erasing this top layer that is black and white so that the color comes through underneath. Anything that's on top uh, shows up above anything that's below in these layers. So now we've got the soccer field that is a nice green, but there's, if you look in this area right here, it's pretty bright. You don't see a lot of, of color there. So what I'm gonna use is this tool right here. This is the burn tool. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make uh, areas that I use it on darker. So I come through. And as I color it in, you notice it gets just a little bit darker each time I do it. No, it doesn't, because I'm not on there. So I go to the background layer. Sorry, I wasn't adding it in the right place. 
and now I come through and as I go over it, it gets darker. All right, so I have a little bit more there now. Uh, this area right here, I made a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna use the dodge tool. And the dodge tool does just the opposite of the burn tool. It makes things lighter. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. All right, the last tool I wanna to talk about. So let's say I wanna make this greener in the middle of the soccer field. So I'm gonna click on this sponge tool here. And that's going to give me two options. I can either saturate it, which means make the colors more vibrant, or desaturate it, which means it'll be more black and white. I actually want to saturate it, make this green just a little bit more bright. So what I do is I click. And notice that as I go over, that it's making the green a much more brighter uh, green there. Okay, I lied. There's one more tool I want to show you and that is the recolor tool. So let's say I wanna make this soccer field look more like that Idaho field, that Idaho college, and that's a pretty bright blue. So I'm gonna click there and hit okay. And then here's how you do that. You use this color replacement tool here. The color replacement tool looks like a paintbrush with a little icon above it. And what it's gonna do now is take whatever color is in the center right here and it's going to turn it well in this case blue so right now if i click down notice i can now just go over and it's just going to change any of the green out there to blue but notice on the out outskirts of the of the field it's still green and the reason for that is that the green in the middle of the field was a lot brighter than the green over here in the shadows. So what I need to do is place this brush in the center of that darker green, and then look, now I'm changing that darker green to a blue. So that's the way this color tool, or color replacement tool works, is it replaces the color in the center of your brush with whatever color you have selected. There we go. So now what I've done is I've used a couple of different tools to create this effect. I duplicated the layer to add some black and white. I erased the layer to show the color underneath. I used the burn and the dodge tool to alter whether it was darker or lighter. I used the sponge tool to add vibrance and saturation to the color. And then I used the color replacement tool to replace the green with blue. I hope this information was helpful for you. If it was, please consider hitting like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. J Corwin. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and we'll see you next time.